Hi everyone, this is Kevin, and today's question asks us to find the limit of a function using the conjugate method. Now for those of you who do not know what the conjugate method, it is just one of the many techniques that we use in calculus to solve for the limit of problems that have the indeterminate form. That is, by indeterminate form, that is when you plug zero into the function, you end up with zero over zero. All right, we know that this is the indeterminate form and that the solution has not yet been determined or we do not know if there any solution exists. So to solve these type of problems, we have to apply the conjugate method. And this method is used when you have limit problems that especially have radicals in them. The conjugate now says that you multiply your original expression by its conjugate or at least the conjugate that has the radical part of it. So, root 5 plus y plus root 5. Now the plus here will be the conjugate form of this negative here. Over root 5 plus y plus root 5. So now that I have my conjugate expression here, I'm just going to multiply both of these equations together and I should have limit as y tends to 0 of this times this is 5 plus y plus now you have this times this this will just be root 5 times 5 plus y now you have minus root 5 times this, that will be minus root 5 times root 5 plus y. And minus root 5 times positive root 5 is going to give you minus 5. All over y times square root of 5 plus y plus root 5. So we don't really worry about the bottom part too much. It's the top part that we'll end up simplifying. You have minus 5 and you have 5. Those will cancel. You have plus root 5 times root 5 plus y and then you have the negative form here. So in essence you're left with the limit as y tends to 0 of y over y times 5 plus y plus root 5. Now the y's can cancel, leaving 1 on top, which is going to go to, when you plug in your 0 now, 1 over Five plus zero plus root five, which will es essentially give us one over two root five. And here you have it, your answer using the conjugate method. Now I hope this video was helpful. Please feel free to like, share, and comment. Thank you for watching.